Okay, so we're back to uh, do another test with the Dart XL. Um, I got water in the plane yesterday, it's dried out, so everything seems to be working fine. So, strange thing is it was really bright and sunny and this really weird mist has come in, so I'm going to be flying above the mist. Um, that'll be an interesting situation, I've never really done that before with a plane, so uh, let's get this thing up in the air and do some testing on 1200 milliwatts and uh, see what kind of range we can get. Mind you, this mist could uh, make it difficult for me, but I'll, I'll do my best. Okay, we'll launch again. Cruise mode. Return to launch. Okay, away she goes. Into cruise here. Cruise mode. Got the cruise throttle. Okay. Now we're running at cruise throttle. Just over five amps. It's on 239 metres from home in the goggles. Let's look at the uh, Lewis script on the Tyrannus. It's looking good. Seven hundred milliwatts. That road down there is about three kilometres, I think. I'm not sure the the figures inside the OSD are accurate. Cruising nicely. Five and a half, six amps. Okay, we're getting a little bit of break up now. Let's crank the goggles up and see what happens. A thousand milliwatts, twelve hundred, twelve hundred milliwatts. A little bit of break up. These are all the Humber Bank factories down there. I need to measure this with Google Maps to see how far out I get. I'm getting a little bit of break up. like analog now. Okay, 14.9 on the battery. I don't think I'm going to go to the coast. I'll bring it home. Return to launch. Bring it back. 1200 milliwatts into the sun. Now she's coming home.
That mist on the ground really does look good. There's sunbeams coming through it. Still pulling five and a half amps. Not much wind. Ground speed's about 60 kilometers an hour. Yeah, she's coming back. Come back nicely. You know, the heading is on zero, so that's working. The return to home direction is working well. Distance from home doesn't seem to be working very well. Oh, maybe it does. Zero, 2.8. Yeah, 2.8 kilometers. Yeah, that's working too. The zero in front of it put me off. Yeah, 2.7 kilometres. That's working. Okay, so we've got distance from home working, home direction working, altitude working, speed working, longitude and latitude, amp draw, milliamp hours drawn, battery voltage. Yeah, we're, we're good. It's all working perfectly. It took a little bit of time for me to get my head around it because it's quite different to the analogue. OSD of course, but yeah, it's all working. All the main functions that I need work fine. And she's coming back to home perfectly into the misty section. Cruising beautifully. 1.8 kilometers to home. running at 1200 milliwatts right now make sure that I clear those power lines because I've got the high nav auto descent feature enabled so it is dropping altitude okay one kilometer Fourteen point six volts on the battery. Here we are coming home now. See the landing strip. The sun and the clouds looks amazing. That mist on the hills over there. Okay, I can hear the plane. Let's take it out of RTH. bring her in for a landing. And then we'll try analog in the goggles. See what the analog's like in the DJI goggles.
Let's get into the room light. Quite a narrow strip here to land in. You don't want to land in these fields because very muddy. I don't want to land in a puddle either. Oh, just got down before the puddle, I think. Thank goodness for that. Right, stop the recording. Go and retrieve the plane. the lipo and then we'll put it up again and we'll try it on analog and see what the analog recorder is like in DVR in the DJI goggles. Oh there's my uh, plane finder. Very useful. Turn off then you twat. There you go. 